it's the first day of my solo Atlantic crossing. I'm a couple of hours in now. That's uh, El Hierro and Narastinga behind me. I just recently had lunch and was disturbed by some dolphins playing at the bow. But other than that, there hasn't been anything to report so far. There's no wind and I'm not really expecting any for the first 24 hours. So I'm having to motor uh, at the moment, sort of uh, south-southwest. And there's a little bit of swell. It's about 2 meters to 2.5 meters, but it has a very long fetch. So at the moment, it's just like soft, gentle rolling hills but we'll see how that develops during the, the course of the crossing. It's day two of the passage and I don't really have anything much more to report really. Uh, you can probably still hear the Yanmar diesel working away there in the background. It's been 28 hours now since I left port and there hasn't been any wind unfortunately. But other than that everything's been great. Uh, I've covered about 130 miles. It's a little bit slower than I would have anticipated but I did slow down intentionally just to save a little bit of fuel. The sea state has picked up like ever so much. It's now between three and four meter swell, but because of the super long wavelengths, it's just amazingly comfortable. It's almost like riding a magic carpet at the moment. I haven't seen any other vessels at all on radar or on AIS. And other than the noise of the engine, I've just been enjoying the peace. I know that when the wind does eventually come and pick up a bit, that I'm gonna have some work to do. And so for now, it's just all about chilling out and relaxing. There's a very slight breeze, uh, five and a half to six knots. Not very much, but it's enough for me to get the sails out and they should help improve my speed by a tenth of a knot or two which although it doesn't sound like a lot on a 21 day passage every little bit counts it's now about 10 30. i was just in the forward cabin keeping my lookout from there and i noticed the wind picking up a little bit it's now about 12 knots just off the starboard quarter and that was enough for me to get the genoa out um, pull it out and secure all that and now I'm doing about somewhere between say I don't know 4.2 to 5 knots which is great it means I can totally kill the engine uh, lift up the drive leg and then just sail along in peace it's so much nicer just to hear the the sound of the water against the hull rather than that droning uh, diesel sound um, so I'm happy about that. I'm just going to sit here in the cockpit for a while and keep an eye on things before, you know, if everything's okay, then I'll go about my usual routine. Notice the distinct lack of engine sound. 
That's because I'm finally sailing. I managed to pick up a little bit of wind late last night, around about 10.30, and I've been sailing ever since. First on a starboard tack, and now on a port tack. For anyone that's been following my tracking, you might notice that uh, the route looks a little bit um, squiggly. That's just because I've been really slow with the jibes. Being a cutter rigged boat, it takes a good 30 minutes or so to take the pole down and disassemble it and reset it up on the other side. But uh, hopefully as time goes on, I'll get that, uh, get that sped up a little bit. The wind's much more stable now. I'm currently doing uh, between sort of four and a half and five knots and I hope it picks up a little bit later so I can make up some of the ground that, that's been lost. I messaged a friend of mine, um, Shirley. She's about to set off on an Atlantic row. She's aiming to be the oldest woman to cross the Atlantic in a rowing boat uh, solo. So good luck to Shirley. She starts uh, in about eight hours. So I hope all goes well there. She actually told me that she watched the movie Adrift last night and it's uh, scared a witless uh, so she said she doesn't recommend watching that one on the voyage which uh, it is something I had lined up along with uh, the Mercy as well but uh, yeah maybe I'll find something else for entertainment this evening. Other than that all is good I've done about 240 260 miles which is a little bit slower but as I said I hope to make up some ground soon. It's day seven and yes, I lost another hat. It seems the gods of the sea really love my headgear for some reason. I'm currently drifting somewhere in the middle of the Atlantic. I lost the wind at about one o'clock this morning. I did motor through the night, but when the sun came up, to me it just made more sense if I, I kind of just stay put. I deployed a parachute anchor to limit the drifting, but really I think it, it only works when there's some wind forces acting on the boat. As it is at the moment, I'm drifting slowly, about half a knot or so. Um, not too far, of course. I'm expecting a bit more wind to come in the next five or six hours. I'm gonna use some of the downtime to hopefully clear up some mess that's accumulated over the past few days. And also a good friend of mine, Diana in Sofia, sent me um, a recipe for banana cake. So I'm looking forward to trying that a little bit later on if I have the time. Thank you. 
it's a little bit later on day seven and I'm sailing again so that's fantastic the wind started off at around five or six knots and I was able to make two to three knots pace it's now picked up to nine or ten knots and I'm able to sail at half wind speed so it's great that I'm back on my way towards the Caribbean continuing the journey that's fantastic what was not so fantastic was the banana cake I, I don't know what went wrong um, but it turned out quite flat and quite dense it still tastes okay and I've got this to eat over the next couple of days the main reason for the update as I mentioned was that the winds back and I'm back on the journey